hello my purposeful family are you doing hope you are doing great so god wants me to share hmm, this eye-opening message with you mm -hmm. so when i was in college i needed god's strategy to graduate i was on probation and the church i was going to hmm, had lots of issues i mean the pastor was like calling names while preaching making other church members jealous of each other sometimes it, it just like diverts and those talks rubbish so the congregations were complaining and my parents were complaining so hmm, after church when we get home hmm, my parents they are like having heated arguments concerning the pastor ah the pastor was talking about us the pastor was talking about this hmm, i'm mean, complaining about the church so what did God teach me? Hmm. God said, hmm, as I listen to the pastor, look for his voice. Like God would tell me in the midst of the sermon, don't listen to that side of the pastor. Listen to this side of the pastor. Like the pastor would list 10 things. God would tell me, listen to only 3, 5, 10. Like God was showing me how to handle pastors that are too fleshy and you know like there are mixed messages like i mean it was a toxic church toxic sermons online so hmm, god and i when we get home hmm, we bring out our notes we receive from the church and god is saying ignore this side focus on this side so my family let me tell you something god wants me to share with you that when you are going to a church that the pastor will preach good in some part of his sermons and the other side of his sermon hmm, is corrupted by his human feelings that is when you need the holy spirit ask him which side of the pastor's message do i listen to pending the time god takes you out of that church so hmm, that's what happened to me in college like i needed god's revelation to succeed and being in that type of toxic church god helped me to discern which message is from him and which message is from the pastor that was how i got god's revelation god's strategy on how to graduate through the church's messages and i listened for god's voice and i learned how to endure the college how to push through the probation like the word of god is key the voice of god is key so if the pastor is speaking in two voices you know god's voice and human voice in the message god can help you determine his voice in that message and ignore the pastor's voice so think about it god can speak through anybody god can speak through a donkey does that mean you should be friends with the donkey no just focus on God's voice through the donkey. So, same with church. God can speak through a crazy pastor. Does that mean you should be friends with that pastor? No. Look for God's voice and ignore the other aspects of his message as God leads you. Same with your enemies. God can speak through your enemies. Does that mean you should be friends with your enemies? No. The enemy can be talking as God what aspect do you want me to take in what aspect should i ignore god will direct you so hmm, just because god speaks through somebody does not mean you should be friends with them that person may not even agree with god's vision for your life but god just spoke through them for that season after that season you stay away from them as god leads you so that was what happened in school for instance when i was taking biology god sent me helper in my class god used her to help me through out the class immediately the class was over god told me to cut ties with her we are moving to another season it's math season so we need a math helper so god was telling me stay away from the biology helper she's just taking space she's no longer adding to your life she's distracting you she's making you lose focus she's hanging out with you when you should figure out how to pass your math class so immediately i cut ties with her i started doing well in my math class same with pastors god will use them for a season 
like God used a pastor for a season in my life, the next season he will tell me, cut ties with that pastor. This person is no longer serving this new season. So I need to listen to God will say, oh, I need to listen to this other pastor, listen for his voice, flow with him, revelation, you know. So God will keep revealing, you know, because it's revelation time, it's revelation season. Ask for, like, ask God for deeper revelation concerning the church you are going to. The toxic pastor, like, he will lead you. Like, there was a day I went to preach in school like i went preaching in school and god told me to stop and talk to this lady like i stopped and talked to her about god at the end she said you don't know me but god just used you to answer my prayer god spoke through you honestly i did not know what side of the message god spoke through me that it are uh, like really hard that helped her i just knew god was speaking not me like God said lots of things to me. Like, but I don't know which one touched her. You know when God takes over your voice, you plan to say three things to this lady, one thing led to another. God took over my mouth, my voice, spoke to her longer than I expected, said things I did not plan, brought verses to my head I did not think of. That's the power of God. When God takes over your body, your soul, your spirit, and uses you to impact someone's life mightily, it's a great feeling. So when I finished sharing with her and I left, I told God privately, hmm, God, what happened? Like, I felt like a different person when talking to her. And God said, it is his spirit. Like, he said, his spirit entered into me mightily and said things that will change her life for the better. Hmm flow with god so i was like wow god that's great you know from that moment i realized when god preaches through me it's not a joke there's a reason god wants to save someone so i started taking the call of god very seriously like i don't care what the pastor says whenever like whether they believe i'm called or not i don't care this is between me and god God tells me something, I step out in faith, God takes over, God takes the glory. I'm not here to please pastors, I'm here to please God. I'm goal-oriented, I follow and meet God's goals with the help of the Holy Spirit. So my family, when you listen to a sermon online or in person, God interprets it to you. Yes, don't listen to a sermon blindly. Ask God to tell you what he wants you to hear from that sermon. For instance, when I listen to a sermon as led by God, my first prayer, God, please speak to me. Don't let the pastor speak to me. Let it be you speaking to me. Then I get a different interpretation of that sermon because Holy Spirit interprets it to my life, my season, my current situation to the point that I learned something not from the pastor but from God himself. Yes. So seriously, some of the sermons God tells me to listen online, those pastors don't support God's vision. But God tells me to listen because he's interpreting what they are preaching according to my season, according to his will for my life. If I go meet those pastors, oh, I'm a member of your church, this is what God is telling me to do, they will question it because God spoke to me, not them. God gave me faith for that vision, not them. When the pastor is questioning what God tells you, that does not mean something is wrong with you. That does not mean you are not hearing from God directly. It means God spoke to only you and not them. The same God that saved your life is speaking to you, not them. The same God that saved my life is speaking to me, not them. Don't doubt the voice of God. Just because your pastor don't believe what God tells you does not mean it's not God talking to you. Just because your parents don't believe what God tells you does not mean it's not God talking to you. So we continue in the next video.